back to one-arm robber today's video is going to be a quick rundown of all the units that are currently in one-arm robber and we're going to explain their behavior their equipment and their special abilities if they have any so let's get this one started the first unit we're going to talk about is the civilian unit the civilian unit is one of the three non-hostile units and one of the two that can be found in the stealth phase they can be pushed around they're the only unit that can be zip tied for every civilian you kill you lose five thousand dollars from your total take at the end of the heist also they're one of the few units that you can drag their body after killing for their behavior they stay still and they don't roam they'll either cower in fear or go alert the closest guard indicated by the big exclamation mark above their head when seeing an armed robber or see a guard getting killed and they're very annoying when going in loud because they run all over the place like a chicken with the head cut off and they're easy to accidentally shoot and lose money for the end of the heist for their equipment they have none to speak of just the shirt on their back so i'll give them the hostility rating of one out of ten and the annoying rating two out of ten and the next unit we're going to talk about is the guard unit, which is the only other unit besides the civilian that can be found in the stealth phase of heist. For starters, guards can't be pushed. Guards drop a phone when killed stealthily that can be used at a check-in to avoid alerting the cops. Like the civilian, the guard can be dragged after being killed. And also the guard can be glitched if spotted by a camera and you run into them before they complete their investigation to make them freeze in place. For their behavior, they either stay in place or they complete designated routes that they have during the heist. They'll begin to spot you if you're in restricted areas, if you're in yellow restricted areas, and you're not masked up they will escort you off the premises or if you're found in a red restricted area or you're found masked up they will spot you and alert the police right away they will also investigate noise from broken windows or sprinting through doors if in earshot they will also investigate if a camera spots a player when they're not masked up or if a player destroys a camera and their only equipment is a pistol which seems to be a gt17 and some skills to have to counter this unit will be guard dodger for increasing the guards time at spotting you communication delay which give you more time to answer guards phones and check-ins and also camera dodger to help you give you more time before a camera spots you to alert a guard overall their hostility rating is 2 out of 10 and their annoying rating is 3 out of 10. and the next unit we're going to talk about is a twofer which is the first responders and the SWAT units while there's only a few first responders to show up like two to five units SWAT is the main unit when going in loud and their behavior is as soon as they have line of sight of the player they will open fire until the player is dead for equipment first responders are armed with assault rifles and they look like regular cops with only helmets for protection while SWAT is also armed with assault rifles they look like the traditional SWAT unit helmet goggles bulletproof vest you name it the skills that will help counter this unit would be all the survivor skills to help with health and armor upgrades so you can survive longer and all the gun expert perks to help collect ammo and upgrade damage and weapon accuracy to help fight off all the units I would say the hostility rating is 5 out of 10 and the annoying rating is 5 out of 10. And next up, we have the Power Box Diffuser, also nicknamed the Diffuser, Power Guy, or the Runner. After the civilian, the Diffuser is the second of the three non-lethal units. The equipment of the Diffuser is they have no weapon. Their character models, as you can see, are equipped with a headset, body armor, wire cutters, and a screwdriver. Also has what looks to be a mini hacking tool on his wrist. And their behavior is they'll completely ignore you and run past you just to get to the current Power Box that's being broken. They can be kind of annoying when dealing with all the SWAT units trying to kill you at the time and this guy just sneaks in just to defuse the power box and restart your progress luckily the skill that will help is the saboteur skill to make power boxes hack much faster i give the power box diffuser a hostile rating of 1 out of 10 and annoying rating of 6 out of 10 and next up we have the last of the non-lethal units the interceptor also nicknamed the hooded one sneaky boy assassin's creed wannabe and the equipment for the interceptor is they have no weapon but they're wearing a hoodie and body armor and they have barbed wire the behavior of the interceptor is they'll sneak around the whole map during a heist and place down barbed wire which will slow you down if you run over it. This unit can be very annoying if not killed right away since they'll place down abundance of barbed wire to slow down your speed during a heist. Luckily, the skill armor feat will help you increase your speed in which you can move through barbed wire faster. I would give this unit a hostile rating of 1 out of 10 and an annoying rating of 7 out of 10. Now, the next unit we're going to talk about is the shield and the blinding shield. Nickname, shielder, walking door, human flashlight, or human torch for you people across the pond. The Oh my god, is that the freaking sun that's blurring my eye sockets? And the equipment that they have are obviously the big riot shield that they wield and a pistol. And their behavior, just like the rest of the lethal units, they will walk until they have line of sight of you, open fire, and try to kill you. But the most special of the two are the blinding shields. The blinding shields are equipped with a riot shield that sends a prolonged flash of light blinding you. You'll either be fighting another unit or you'll have your back turned working on breaking into the vault when suddenly you hear the shield charging up and ah! You get blasted with rays from the sun in your face for about four seconds. The blinding shield is almost like Blitz from Rainbow Six, but instead of only having three flashes and being blind for four seconds, this guy has an unlimited amount of blinding beams. Luckily, there's two ways of taking out a shielder. Either shoot the glass window part of the shield, and after a while, it will break, exposing the shielder's face for a nice headshot. Or the easier and more funny way, shooting a shielder's exposed feet, in which the shield falls down and they get trapped underneath their shield, and it flings them in the air like a ragdoll. I would give this unit a hostile rating, 7 out of 10, and an annoying rating, 8 out of 10. Suspect armed. 
watch it. And finally, the last unit we're gonna talk about is the Juggernaut. Nicknames, Juggernaut, Big Boy, Big Daddy, The Sponge, The... How many freaking bullets does this guy need to be taken down? Like, I wasted half my mags on this guy. Their equipment is a full Juggernaut outfit straight out of Call of Duty or the Bulldozer from Payday series. And they're armed with the LMG, the L245. This guy, like his nickname, is One Giant Bullet Sponge, taking all sorts of bullets before they go down. Their behavior is a big hulking giant walking towards you and unloading bullets from his LMG until you're dead. Not really a huge threat, but when you factor in all the units that you're facing when he arrives, it can get dicey at times. Also, uses a lot of ammo to take one of these guys down. Two ways of killing him is first, unloading all the bullets onto the body, which after some time, he'll drop like a sack of potatoes. And the second way is a focus fire on the helmet of the Juggernaut, and the glass on the helmet will break, exposing the face for a quicker takedown. I would like to say the hostile raid for this unit is 20 out of 10 and the annoying rating is 20 out of 10. This was an overview of all the units of one on robber. What are your opinions on them? Let me know in the comment section below. Also, before I go, this will probably be my last one armed robber video until the game updates again. And like always, I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope to see you in the next video.